Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So we get a sense here of uh, movement and things happening quickly with the Eight of Wands. We can see the Wands are either uh, coming down to earth or they've been launched. And so what do the ones represent? They can represent the things that we're involved in, our activities, our projects, our projects at home, our projects at the office. And so it seems that, you know, we always have something going on and these little tasks or these activities, they have a natural end. The ones hit the ground and then we, we toss up a few more. So this suggests movement. It can uh, indicate news. It can be offerings in some cases. Oh, this, <laughs> this is a problem. See? Oh, Romeo, you were doing so nicely. Okay, bud, can you just sit down and hang out with mommy? Can you just sit down? Okay. Okay, so with the eight of wands, movement, feeling very active, a lot going on. You may be required to respond to an email, to a communication quickly. You may be invited for a, <laughs> good grief. You may be invited to, you know, a meeting, a lunch, a date, something. So with this, <laughs> Romeo, Chill out, my man. Come on, boy. Come on, fella. Just be a good boy. Mm, okay. Eight of Wands. Communication. A lot going on for you. You may have to get back to someone quickly. You may be meeting new people. You may be starting new projects. Things and the pace of your life may feel hectic on Monday. So then... Here. Oh my goodness. So then we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is a card where this knight is here offering the cup, offering the opportunity for this emotional, um, oper uh, emotional interaction. So whether you're in the dating game and you're dating people at this time and you're out with lots of folks, and I'm, I'm just going to keep rolling here with this one. Um, this Knight of Cups is someone who is sensitive, who is loving, caring, romantic, and uh, is nice to be around. And so whether you have this type of uh, cup energy, this water energy going with the flow. It's, it's a nice balance to have someone who is kind of, um, easy, aware, mindful. This could also suggest, uh, again, if you're in a relationship that you're focusing on the quality of your relationship, how you interact with each other how you treat each other. And so maybe there's, um, you know, maybe there's room to improve or maybe it's going swimmingly. So with the Knight of Cups, it can be an offer, an offer of love, an offer of a relationship. News of a relationship, news of meeting someone perhaps that can be important to you on an emotional basis. So then we have the Queen of Pentacles. And with the Queen of Pentacles, we have a sense here of 
uh, the importance of happiness and I'm just going <laughs> to, no, don't do that. Don't do that, Romeo. Don't do that. So this is a daily tarot reading gone, <laughs> gone wild with the little man here. Okay, just sit down, just sit down. Okay. Back to the Queen of Pentacles, earth sign, loves nature, loves comfort and nice things. And this Queen of Pentacles is the friend that you have, the family member who's gonna say, are you feeling okay? Is there anything I can do for you? If you're under the weather, can I bring you some soup? How can I help you? Okay, devil. Okay, you little Lucifer. Okay, now I've had it. Now I've had it. Okay. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Okay? Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go. 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 Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Grief. Good grief. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Full of comfort and beauty and kindness. And Monday may be a day where you're reaching out to a friend, where you are showing some nurturing love or some consideration to someone else. It could be that you require that. It also could mean that, you know, you're going to... Uh, Make the most of something that you find on a, at a sale, uh, at the store, to beautify your home, to fix up your home. It's important to this queen to have comfort and to enjoy the abundance. She's very capable, capable in business, capable uh, in relationships, family, and can do it all. But maybe... Uh, focused on, you know, focused on the comfort level, on having the things that are going to bring happiness at home, family, you know, a comfortable couch, a hot cup of coffee. So, you know, what happens when Romeo comes is that I totally, totally lose it. I just can't even think because it's like, what will he do next? <laughs> I love him. And I love tarot. So here you have two things that I love, tarot and Romeo. So let's just cut right to the numbers because I'm, you, I'd love to hear what you say about this reading. You can drop it in the comments. So what do we have? We have eight, nine, and 10, and 10 reduces to one. And one is about new beginnings, new cycles, being an original, being a leader, and now let's get a message for the day. Vision. No matter what, you see the biggest picture, the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So... It's nice to focus on the big picture. It's nice to think about things outside of our own daily grind, our daily wins and our daily losses. And so if we can just think about the big ticket items, hmm, I feel pretty good today. My health is in a good place. That's a great start. Or I have a loving partner. I have a loving husband. I have wonderful children. So however you can start to carve out that bigger picture is, you know, creating the bigger vision. Right, Romeo? So he's just sitting and watching. One day maybe we'll get to, oh, no, here he comes. One day we'll get to sitting and watching. I do believe as he gets older, we'll work it out. So friends, I'm sorry for the crazy little read today with my main man, but I'm going to let it go. These are the cards that were drawn. 
I hope you have a great day and subscribe, check out those weekly readings and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.